Hey everyone, and uh, this is Sea War Rainbow McLean for Live once again. I want to welcome everyone back for another uh, video, another movie, and uh, of course, a movie review. And today I'm going to review and talk about, and of course, I'm going to defend Constantine, which came out in 2005, was released in the United States, February 18. And the budget for this movie cost $100 million, it made worldwide $230 million, it didn't make that much money, it was directed by Francis Lawrence, um, and of course was, um, of course was written by Kevin uh, Broad, Broad, Broadbin and Frank Capello, which they both wrote the screenplay, and of course uh, Constantine is based on a comic box Hellblazer by uh, DC Comics Vertigo. And, of course, stars Keanu Reeves, um, <clears throat> Rachel, uh, Rachel Weisz, Shia LaBeouf, Tilda Swinton, Bruce Tyler Vince, Demon Hudson, Gavin Rosdale, and Peter Stormer. And, like I said, right, uh, directed by Francis Lawrence, which he did a fantastic job. But, I don't understand the hate for this film. I mean, I don't get it. Um... I read that so harsh comments on IMDb because this movie still gets hate and crap and gets pissed on it. I mean, someone said the uh, watch, you know, The Matrix or The Exorcist instead that Constant tries to be. Or, um, well, I watched it in Monday. I watched uh, uh, The Matrix Resurrections and that movie was so fucking awful. Yes, I watched the film and I'm not gonna rent it. I'm not going to rent it. I'm not going to review the film because it's waste my it's waste of my time. I mean, last year, no, 2 years ago, I reviewed Rambo Last Blood, which I rented and I got nothing but hate for it. If I well, if I rent the new movie Matrix Resurrections, I'm going to go get to hate for it. I'm going to just waste my time with the movie because it was a it was a waste of of, uh, of talent of talent from Carrie and Moss, from Keanu Reeves, because it was so god shitty awful. I hate The Matrix Resurrections, and that movie is a piece of garbage. So I would rather watch this movie. And of course, it's my favorite movie. It's right there. It's my favorite, one of my favorite comic book films. And this still, I think, is underrated comic book film. And I don't understand why is this movie nonsense. Why is this movie, uh, why is this movie cheesy? It's over the top. Or Keanu Reeves is that good actor for the start. I don't get it. Or or it's uh, or, or like someone said that he wa wanted constantly end his life. Why? You know why is so bad about this film? Why why is this movie so shitty awful? It's not. Why is this movie crap? I don't understand. You know I don't understand. Oh Keanu Reeves is not a good movie from the start. You know the Matrix, the first one and the second one, even the third one. All three are good. Especially the first two Matrix films. I love both of them. I review them and they're on my channel. Um, there's um, uh, <clears throat> Speed is a classic film. Um, also, uh, also Constantine, which I review now, you know, which I don't get the hate for this film. Um, it's just, I don't understand. Um, <clears throat> John Wick films, all three movies are great. I love all three of them. I saw John Wick Chapter 3 Parabellum Movie Theater. I saw the first Matrix in movie theater. And I don't understand, you know, and I still remember seeing, you know, like Sin City and Constant at that time when I when I checked for Keanu Reeves. Because back in 2005, I watched Point Break from Keanu Reeves. I watched Speed that time. Um, I watched the I watched from Bruce Willis Die Hard, Die Hard The Vengeance, The Last Boy Scout, The Fifth Element. Um, those movies I watched and I still remember Striking Distance I watched at the time but I still remember the I still remember when I checked for Bruce Willis and Keanu Reeves filmography on IMDb uh, I saw that they both released Sin City in this movie which came out the same year as Sin City and Constantine is one of my favorite characters um, definitely one of my favorite uh, favorite movies from Keanu Reeves uh, my favorite character, John Constantine. Um, I have not seen the show. Um, there were 13 episodes. Um, uh, I have not seen the show. Um, and I have not. I have never read um, comic books like uh, the Hellblazers. Um, so no, I didn't read it. But I watched this film, and I thought, and I thought that Keanu Reeves 
did a fantastic job uh, playing John Constantine. That's just my opinion. But I understand why it's cheesy. It's not cheesy. It's not boring. This movie is not boring. For two hours it's fast paced and you understand what's going on. And... And John Constantine, which is actually based on a comic book by Vertigo, created by Alan Moore. It uh, he created. He was a comic book writer. He created this movie back in 1985 uh, uh, during his run in the Swamp Thing. Um, and because his movies, uh, because uh, based on his comic books from Hell and uh, uh, the uh, the. The Ligue of the Extraordinary Gentleman did not well in the box office. He refused, you know, the money, taking the money from the Hollywood. You know, he refused uh, putting his work on the on the screen because they didn't because they did not do much more money. Um, this movie costs hundred million dollars. It has great special effects, great action. It's a supernatural horror film. And Constantine is definitely one of the most underrated comic book, super, super, uh, supernatural, superhero comic book films. And, uh, and uh, I'm talking about the movies, you know, like the other comic book films that are not famous, like Hellboy. I have not, never seen Hellboy, uh, uh, not the first two, or re Reboot, I never watched them. Um, Spawn, I remember hating in the film. Um, I thought the Spawn sucked. Yeah, I thought that movie was kind of boring, was kind of disappointing film. I haven't seen that movie in over 20 years, but I remember being so disappointed with that film. I thought it was, that movie I thought was cheesy. Um, this movie is much better. It's just much better, such a badass film. Um, so, by the way, this movie, you know, before I start with the plot, this movie doesn't have, um, it, it doesn't, it's not an origin story. And it has only like two, one, two minutes, I'll say two minutes top of the origin story of John Constantine. But it isn't an origin story. It starts from the, it's just keep going, which is awesome. Um, like Batman Begins, you know, this movie right there, Batman 1989, it's not an origin story. Batman Begins, it's like origin story. It, it takes like one hour till we actually finally see a Batman. And in that movie, Batman isn't that much in the film. And... This movie doesn't have an origin story, and it's not a it's not an origin story. It's just a story which could continue. And I just always thought the story was fantastic, and uh, and we find out that John Constantine, as a kid, he saw um, he saw some shit. He saw uh, those objects, those dead dead people. You know, just like in the Sixth Sense, he saw those dead people and objects and ghosts and because parents thought that he's crazy that that he he that that he's mental ill that he's crazy they they hire they, they actually sent him into mental institution which he got electric shocks and made it made things worse so because he was tired of his life he he killed himself but he was only dead for two minutes he came back because he cheated the dead and he got those powers and he became now uh, exorcised and he he's like uh, killing, you know, he tries to exorcise all those demons and saves those souls, which is, which is a great typical hero. He smokes, he, um, he smokes, he has a cancer, he smokes and, and he's not allowed to die and you feel like sorry and bad for him. Um, and um, he's a typical hero, you know, that's one of my typical heroes that Keanu Reeves plays. He's a typical superhero, he has no powers, but he's exorcising those demons. And, and like, he's, he smokes, um, he, he like smokes, and, uh, you know, he, he's been like called for all those emergencies, you know, like there's this girl, she's possessed. Um, and his friend, uh, of course, Father, um, uh, Father Hen Hennessy, he calls him for help, and she's like, this girl, she's, she's actually, um, possessed, and, uh, I love it when he shows up and says, this is Constantine, John Constantine, asshole, and she's, she, this girl is tied up, and she's possessed, and he says, I'm gonna need uh, a long, uh, large mirror, you know, so they bring a long, large uh, uh, um, mirror, he puts, uh, he puts uh, in front of the girl, you know, and there's a demon, 
and the demon, you know, when they hold up and he keeps uh, uh, telling the spell and the demon, you know, um, the, keeps saying the spell and the demon, you know, she shows, uh, shows up and pull, gets in the mirror and, you know, one of those uh, men who holds the mirror gets gray hair and let's go and Constantine holds the mirror and then he holds the mirror, the, mo the mirror lands right in the car and, you know, he captures the demon the demon gets destroyed, you know, when the when the the mirror ra uh, flies out of the window. Practical effect, great ex great breaking the glass. <laughs> I think lands on the car, uh, and the demon gets destroyed, which is just awesome. Um, and uh, and uh, of course, Rachel Weisz, she plays Angela Dotson. She's a cop. Um, her <clears throat> twin sister, I think, was. Um, Isabel, she created, she was a mental institution, she committed suicide, and, um, and of course, um, and, uh, of course, Angela Dodson doesn't believe that, she thinks she was murdered, so she, she tries to find proof, she goes to, um, she meets Constantine, when Constantine is, like, smoking, and he's, like, in this elevator, you know, he, he and uh, he doesn't hold the, the door for her, or they meet in the church when uh, John Constantine, you know, he talks to um, to this father, and um, it's actually an angel, Gabriel, and she talks to the father, she tries to find out more about the suicide of her sister, she believes she was killed, she believes she was murdered, um, and of course... And uh, of course there's like this demon with bugs tries to attack um, Keanu Reeves, he tries to attack him and he goes, you know, and um, he fights off and he uh, he destroys him and there's like tons of bugs that the CGI, special practical effects are great, but mostly was was actually more, you know, um, were actually more, more, more practical than, and it's just great film, I mean, to me, it's still, a, it's still one of my favorite comic books films, one of my favorite uh, Keanu Reeves movies, I love Constantine, it's rated there, it's at page 13, like, Spawn, it's, uh, it, it's rated there, and, and of course, um, when, um, when Angela is looking, you know, the video camera, when her sister jump off the building, she sees that she 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 sees that that Isabel said Constantine, and she finds out that John Constantine, who's actually you know exorcised, he's a private investigator and exorcised, and she goes to him and tries to talk to him, um, but at first he says you know he turns her down, but then he decides to help her anyway, and she's been attacked by two two demons, and uh, there's a fight scene. And of course, he he says her says they didn't come for me, so he decides to help her out um, to to find out if she's uh, she's actually in hell. And he goes in this bathtub, you know, and um, he's in this bathtub, and he goes in the hell. I mean, that scene, you know, he goes in the hell, and he finds out that she's in the hell, um, and he they try to find out more about it. Um, to find out more about it, why she commits suicide, and uh, she, he finds out, you know, that the girl was actually a psychic, and uh, she had the ability to see things just like him, um, and she actually killed herself for a high purpose, and Angela had the same ability, but she refused to, uh, to, to tell anyone that she can see things, that she just imagined, that's like her twin sister, she was committed there, and um, and of course the, there's a scene when Rachel Weisz she goes in the top you know in the the bed top and and of course Keanu Reeves holds her down and that's kind of real it looks like he tries to kill her like she tries to m murder her and there's like the bed top explodes practical effect all the water uh, uh, starts falling on the floor and they're both wet, which is so awesome scene. I mean, it was so awesome, it was so great, my opinion, great effects, um, practical done. And she finds out this guy, Balthazar, is like behind this. And, uh, and of course, uh, um, John Wick, not John Wick, John Constantine, and um, um, John Constantine, and um, 
and uh, Angela, they go to, to drive to this company, to this building, um, to this uh, uh, to this company, and of course, um, he shows up, John Constantine shows up, and um, and he uses, you know, he makes, he makes, you know, the, he, his holy shotgun, and he shoots on a Balthazar, and he throws the holy water because he says, I'll breathe, and the guy grabs him, starts joking him, and a lot of scene when he has like that br that bracelet with crosses and he punches him pow 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 he punches him pow 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 he punches him like a badass he uses that uppercut punches him pow 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 like a badass he is you know just like he's a badass he is and he wants to deport his soul to the heaven um in order in, in, in to tell you know what what um what's going on why was the girl, you know, killed? And uh, it turns out that actually this demon, um, the son, uh, the son of Satan, um, actually, um, um, Mamon, the um, yeah, the the son of the Satan, the devil, you know, wants to came back and it's with the with. Uh, 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 help with divine assistance, you know, with Angel Gra uh, uh, Gabriel and the Spear of Destiny, and uh, because you know the girl, she was uh, Isabel, she was psychic, and uh, he wanted to get born in her body, and that's one of the reasons she she jumped off the building to for purpose, and um, and of course. Uh, of course, uh, Balthazar tells him, you know, uh, you bring us right to her, and uh, Constantine shoots him, kills him, and there's a scene eh, when Rachel Wise, you know, she gets grabbed through the whole building, through the rooms, and she's been, she, she, she's been like um, dragging, you know, she's like flying dragging, and Constantine runs, uh, tries, uh, runs, uh, tries to get, to save her, but she gets pulled off. The, out of the building, that's such a great scene, and she falls down the in the pool, and I love when she uses her gun, um, Smith and Wesson, um, um, Uh, she uses the Smith and Wesson in um, nine nine millimeter. You know she she the, her pistol and there's a, there's a, uh, there's actually Mamon the demon. You know this demon uh, um, the son of Satan he, of the son of devil devil. He's actually in this body in this vessel and she goes and shoots him. She she uh, she empties whole magazine but nothing happens. He uh, he goes in her possesses her. Um, and of course, through Papa Midnight, um, which he knows everything, you know, that the only the, the, the demons can walk this earth, only half breeds. And he said that the, the demon, that twice he, he had an encounter with demon. And I love it when there's a fire scene. Eh? And I love when, <laughs> when, when Papa Midnight grabs and says, you wanna, you actually wanna uh, trap me in my house? <laughs> and uh, he says, I need your help. He gives him help. He finds out that the, the Balthazar. Um, he finds out that he he finds out the 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 son of the devil. You know this demon. He wants to walk the earth and he wants to destroy. He wants to do this hell. Um, he wants to do uh, this hell and uh, yeah. And so he wants to do the hell and um, on earth he wants to uh, make end of days and. He goes into Constantine, you know, he uses his holy shotgun and he uses like holy water and everything, you know, against those demons, which he was a badass and he goes, you know, to this hospital and of course his friend Chess Kramer, played by Shia LaBeouf, which is very sad what happened, you know, that he was on drugs and that he went crazy, it's really sad. Um, he, he goes, he's a taxi driver, he goes with him. And he goes in this hospital, the bow go in the hospital, and Chas Kramer goes with his shotgun, shoots in the pipe, um, puts throws the cross in the pipe and makes like the water, it's the holy water to that because of the cross. And uh, and John Constantine shows up in this room and uh, and he tells, My name is John, and he uses the chair, steps on the chair and says, I'm gonna 
um, you should all leave, or I'm gonna deport you, I'm gonna exercise you, and, uh, and he uses that lightning, lightning, um, he uses that, um, I think, uh, he uses, um, um, He, he uses he he takes his lighter out and he turns the lighter which he turns fire or and the sprinklers go off and like everyone you know everyone stands and the, those demons in those human vessels they all watch them and uh, this this girl that camera shows this girl and she says holy water and they turn start turning to ashes and they're burning start turning to ashes and he uses his shotgun and goes and shoots everyone I know I love his shotgun. His holy shotgun, he goes and shoots everyone, left, right, he punches some demon, shoots him, um, he, uh, but, but the, he uses all the munition, the last, the last magazine he empties, and the, the, another demon tries to attack him, but he, he's empty, and of course, uh, Chaz goes and shoots him, which is another great scene, eh? um, and uh, and they go to the pool. They try to save the girl. Um, they try to go, and they both try to save this girl. Um, but they um, so they try to so go. John Constance try to use uh, those spell against the demon, but they can't stop stop the demon. And uh, Chess talks those those uh, those things, but he gets you know he actually gets thrown into the seal and gets killed. Um, and and John Constantine, you know, uses the, that, I think was pentagram on his, like this, on his arms. And he calls the demon, it turns out it was, it was Gabriel. Because he was trying, he was trying to release, you know, uh, he was trying to release uh, the, uh, the son of the devil, Mammon, in which he wanted, you know, with the spear of destiny, he wanted to stab the girl so he could, got, got out. And, uh, you know, and of course he knocks down John Constantine, he can't stop him. Um, so Constantine grabs the, those, uh, uh, those splitter of the glass and he goes and stabs his, his, uh, his, uh, his arms, you know, his um, wrists. And that time uh, Lucifer shows up, played by Peter Stormare. And because, you know, and because Constantine, you know, he says, I'm gonna, uh, he says, you know, let the girl go from the, uh, and, um, uh, you know, he asked him if, the, if uh, he would let the girl go, you know, from the hell, and he's gonna trade his soul, because the girl doesn't belong there, and he says, done, and, of course, Gabriel is now who betrays, you know, the God, and <laughs> there, there's actually a fight scene there, which, Peter Stormer uh, as uh, Satan Lucifer kicks the kicks him down, um, and he uh, and Gabriel, you know, he doesn't he he tries to stab Angela, but Lucifer grabs Angela away, so she she misses, and he's against uh, against him that the moment should be released. Um, there, I think there there was uh, 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 Gabriel lost all her powers, she gets destroyed the wings, she lands in the pool. Um, and of course, <laughs> I love the scene when um, when uh, John Constantine, you know, he tries to take him back his soul into the hell, but he but he's been then grabbed, you know, John Constantine, he's been actually get grabbed and he's been now uh, taken to the heaven and he shows a finger, you know, he shows he shows a finger to to the devil, you know, he shows a finger. <laughs> I can't do this, but he makes, uh, he shows a finger like this, you know, <laughs> and he goes, he tries to go to the heaven and Lucifer grabs him and he, you know, he goes and he grabs him and he uh, sucks all the cancer out of him and lets him live, you know, he to give him a second chance and uh, and of course John now lives and uh, of course Angela has been saved and he grabs and of course um, he grabs her um, on, they're now on the end of the film, they're actually on this roof, he gives her that spear of the destiny you know, I forgot to mention, you know, he goes and punches Gabriel, he punches Gabriel, you know, which is great. She wants it, he kills her, but he punches her, which is great scene. Um, he gives her destiny, and they don't kiss on the end, which is awesome, you know, he's such a badass hero, he's such a badass. 
you know, and um, yeah, and on the end, causes the leaves, and of course the movie ends, it's just, just fantastic film. Um, there's also like when Constantine, you know, he finds out that this girl has been killed, um, that she commits suicide, you know, his friends start dying, uh, one of friends who knows all those um, those things about 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 this urban legends, he gets killed. Um, there is a scene when his friend, his uh, you know uh, 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 this actor, uh, this actor um, Pruitt Tyler Vince, he was in Miami Vice, he was in Red Heat, he played the clerk. In this movie, he plays uh, Father Hennessy, uh, like he keeps flipping, flipping with his eyes. He was also in Quantum of Leap. Um, yeah, he he was uh, he uh, uh, he gets attacked because he has visions, and he goes to this convenience store and he uh, grabs you know the bottle of liquid, but nothing pours out. He tries to uh, drink it, but nothing pours out, and then he gets like drowned in his in his own water. He has drowned uh, with uh, with alcohol from battles that he's been killed. Which is such a great scene, I know he he uh, he tries to drink, but nothing pours out. It's just such a great scene, um, what I love, you know, and and that's what which I don't understand, you know, why why uh, I mean why Keanu Reeves not a good a good a good actor, you know, I love him in the Matrix films, John Wick trilogy, great John Wick. I saw the third one, the Matrix films, um, Constantine, uh, of course he did Speed. Um, which I love speed to death um, Street Kings, you know those movies are great um, The replacements is such a great he did a lot of good movies and I don't think why he's not a good actor You know, I just love the character John uh, John Constantine. He's such a great hero. You know, he's such a type of a hero and um, It's just I love his his holy shotgun um, I love that he has like bracelet on the with the crosses. He goes and punches the guy, you know, pow 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 pow, punches him, which is such a great scene. Or he goes and exercise, you know, I love uh, that that girl, and he goes and exercise that girl, and he says, uh, uh, my name, uh, and says, um, this is Constantine, John Constantine, asshole. Or I love that badass scene, you know, when he goes in the hospital and um, he goes, steps in the chair and says, you should all leave now or I will deport you. And he steps on the chair, you know, uh, takes the lighter out, fa uh, turns the lighter and the sprinklers goes off. And go and says, before he do that, says, go to hell. The sprinklers goes off. The water is holy water. And all those demons starts burning to ashes. Such a great special effects. And... Um, and like this girl says, holy water, she gets burned, and she go, he, he goes with his shotgun, and he goes with the shotgun, exercise and kills all those demons, and shoots them left, right, motherfuckers, and he punches the guy, shoots him, he reloads the magazine, shoots all of them left, right, such a badass, I mean, I love this movie to death, it's such a badass, you know, it's such a badass film, and I don't understand the hate for this film, he's such a badass. Or the scene where Rachel Weisz she's been dragged, you know, she's been dragged and she flies through the whole building and she's good, she lands in this pool and Constantine tries to catch her but she escapes, she, she, she's way too fast, such a great scene, he goes in this uh, club, you know, um, by, owned by Papa Midnight um, <laughs> and of course Charles Kramer can't go in it, such a badass scene, um, or, the, or people are dying like in the open scene in New Mexico uh, you know this this uh, this guy finds uh, the spear of destiny. He gets been possessed by the demon, and um, while he walks, a car trashes in him. But he's all right. He goes, you know, he goes to the U.S. Um, because the movie set in Los Angeles. He goes to the U.S. and um, and when he walks, and you know, all like all cows are dying, like all uh, cows are dying. Then he goes and kills. Some, some guys, uh, he goes and kills some guy, um, he goes and uh, kills some guy in the car and steals the car, um, it's just such a great, it's such a, such a good movie, no, I, I prefer this movie over The Exorcist, I love the third one, but that's it, and people saying, oh, watch Matrix or, or the other films, 
and it's such a great blu-ray case because there's 18 deleted um deleted scenes with alternated ending there's two audio commentaries with, with director francis lawrence which i thought he did a great job directing this film producers um Akiva Goldsman and of course um, screenwriters Kevin Broadbin and Frank Capello. The music score was done by Brian Tyler and uh, I think was um, 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 Klaus ba Badelt, Brian Tyler, Klaus Badelt, which the music score was really great. There is also the song um, "A Perfect Circle." I think it was by Massive Attack. It was such a uh, such a da damn good. It was actually such a do damn good song. And I still don't understand. You know why is this movie so hated? Why is this movie cheesy? Why is such a nonsense? Why why is cheesy? Why you couldn't get into it? Why did you try to end it? Why Keanu Reeves? You know is such a bad actor. He's a damn good actor. I think he did such a great job as John Constantine. You know, he kicked ass. He was a badass. You know, he, he had a cancer. He was smoking. You feel bad for him. And he's like exorcist. He's exorcising those demons, saving the souls. I mean, he goes in the hell. This is such an awesome. That scene, you know, in the hell. He's such an awesome. Um, he, I love his shotgun. You know, he, I love his shotgun. Um, or he goes, you know, and he cuts the wrists and he calls Lucifer. And of course, um, he goes and um, he calls Lucifer. And, um, you know, he goes and calls Lucifer and he exchanges, you know, his uh, his soul for the girl's soul, which is so, such an awesome scene. Or he shows a finger, you know, he goes and shows a finger to, uh, to the devil. I love that he shows a finger. Um, I just, I, I mean, if you don't like Keanu Reeves, that's not the film for you. But I love this movie to death. It's rated there. Um, there people are dying in the film. Um, the cast, Keanu Reeves did a fantastic job as John Constantine, in my opinion. It's one of my favorite comic book films. It's rated there. Francis Lawrence did a great job direction. It was, uh, it uh, caused the budget for this movie cost $100 million. Um, the music score by uh, Brian Tyler and Klaus Badel was great. I enjoyed the music score. Um, and Keanu Reeves has a lot of much to do in this movie. Rachel Weisz, she was in this movie as Angela Dodson as a cop. And I love, you know, I love the, this world, the fantasy, this world, how they did that. I just love that in the film. Um, for 2005, you know, they don't make them comic books, movies like this anymore. I know it's seven, I would be, but like people say, Keanu Reeves whisper lines. Excuse me, he's whispering lines. He's not whispering lines. That's what. That's how much he talks, damn, damn messes. You know, I don't understand why this movie is so much hated. I mean, why, why is nonsensical? Why is cheesy? It's not cheesy. How is this cheesy? It's not cheesy. He has such a great bra bracelet on it. He punches the demon, goes pow, 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 punches him, you know, or he uses a shotgun and he, he uses a shotgun and shoots left and right motherfuckers with the holy water. He shoots them, you know, or he, or, or he sacrifices himself. He shows the finger. There's like this, this, uh, this demon with box attacks him. He fights off. Or, or there, there's a like a bad top explosive with Rachel Weisz in it. It's just a, such a, to me, it's such a good comic book film. It's always was uh, the most underrated comic book film, and I don't understand. It's just one of my heroes. And like I said, when uh, Keanu Reeves he played you know characters like Neo, uh, Neo, Thomas A. Anderson, and John Wick, and of course John Constantine, definitely one of my favorite roles that he did. And yeah, and there's just uh, I just really enjoy the film, you know. Um, or his lines, you know, this is Constantine, John Constantine, asshole. Or he says, "Go to hell." Just, just love that. My name is John. My name is John. Uh, you shall leave now, or I will deport you. Go to hell. I just love the scenes. Or when he says that, or or, or when he sacrifices the girl, she doesn't belong there. Um. 
You know, I think that Keanu Reeves would love to play the sequel, but uh, because this movie didn't make much money, it made only two hundred thirty million dollars. U.S. Canada was thirty million dollars, and gross U.S. Can uh, U.S. Canada seventy-five million dollars worth two hundred thirty million dollars. Uh, Francis Lawrence he also directed uh, uh, the Hunger Games. Catching Fire, then he did The Mockingjay Part 1 and 2, which I thought those two movies sucked. I have not seen I Am Legend, um, but I thought this movie was really damn good one. I, I, I actually enjoyed the first two Hunger Games, especially the second one he directed. Um, but I really enjoy Constantine. I mean, I don't understand the hate for this movie. I don't get it, you know. Why is this movie so much hated? Um, Tilda Swinton, she did great uh, job as Gabriel, you know, when, when Keanu goes and punches her and she stays, you know, because now she has to be a human, she's gonna feel the, the pain. Uh, Prue Tyler wins as Father Harris, he did a great job, you know, uh, when, when he's been like attacked, he sees those visions and those pain visions and he uses those bottles with, with, uh, with liquid, but nothing pour out, you know, it, he, nothing pour out, um, um, it's just great, you know, um, no matter what he does, uh, it just won't pour out and he gets drowned and then killed. Um, and yeah, and the plot is, um, um, it's also, um, the son of the devil wants to come back and needs uh, help with divine instance with Angel Gabriel, t talking to Constantine, which we find out not on the end. We find out actually on the end, you know, he wants to kill him, he wants to, um, to come back. To desert and destroy this earth, you know, he wants to make uh, his own hell on this planet, you know, on this earth, and um, and of course, Constantine has to stop her, and he finds out that the girl, she wasn't murdered, he finds out that the girl, um, he finds out that the girl wasn't murdered, she, she, uh, she commits suicide for higher purpose, you know, to prevent the, the evil on this, uh, uh, to walk upon earth, and... I still don't know why people are saying for two hours, oh, it's a uh, it's confusing plot. You have to, it's not confusing plot. It's not cheesy. It's not over the top. And I'm defending this film. You know, it's better than Matrix Resurrections. Fuck Matrix Resurrections. It's such a, such a badass film. You know, I mean, I wa I'll watch this movie. I'm taking, this is my favorite comic book film. It's rated right there. And I'll take this movie anytime, you know, as my one of my favorite DC comic book films. And, I mean, I love how they did the special effects for Hell, how they created the Hell, special effects. I thought the director did a great job, Francis Lawrence, um, for two hours. You know, I love this movie to death. This is my favorite comic book from John Constantine. And I thought that Keanu Reeves did a great job, better than the Matrix Resurrections he did. But this is my movie. If you don't like Keanu Reeves, it's not going to be the time for you. But anyway, that's my movie review. Defending underrated comic book film. Constantine 2005. Take care and have a good day. Have a good day. And I'm out. Bye bye.